This World AIDS Day, federal officials sat down to discuss the progress that's been made implementing the national HIV AIDS strategy, as well as prospects for 2013 as we move towards an AIDS-free generation. Hello, I'm Dr. Howard Koh, the Assistant Secretary for Health at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I'm here to discuss our progress in implementing the national HIV AIDS strategy with my colleague, Dr. Ron Valdeseri, the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Health, Infectious Diseases, and the Director of the Office of HIV AIDS and Infectious Disease Policy. Thank you, Dr. Valdeseri, for being here today. My pleasure, Dr. Koh. So, Dr. Valdeseri, going into 2013, what do you believe the U.S. HIV community needs to know about the progress that uh, we need to make in implementing the HIV strategy? Good, good question, good question, Howard. Uh, the first thing I would say is the community needs to understand that the Department of Health and Human Services remains committed to implementing the National HIV AIDS strategy and achieving its goals. And we have had some substantial achievements in, in that regard. But we need to make sure that everyone understands that all of us as a nation have to come together and work together in order to be able to achieve the goals of the strategy. When we consider, Howard, that, and I know you know this number very well, that only 25% of the 1.1 million people in the United States who are infected with HIV have optimal treatment to where the viral load is undetectable, we know we have a ways to go. So we have challenges in front of us, but we do have the tools at hand, and this is an achievable strategy. And Ron, what would you say are the major strategy-related achievements in 2012? Well, I'd like to begin by pointing toward the international AIDS meeting that took place here in Washington, D.C. this past summer, which really provided an opportunity, Howard, for you and other leaders in the department to showcase the progress that we've made in implementing the strategy. I would also point toward the work that's been underway for over 24 months that has led to the identification for the first time ever of seven core program measures that are going to be used across HHS that will enable us to look across all of our programs for HIV and evaluate how well they're performing. That's been a major accomplishment. We've also learned a great deal about what it takes to improve coordination and collaboration at the local level through our 12 cities evaluation project and uh, individuals who want to learn more about that can go to aids.gov and read the full report about that. And finally, I know that you and the secretary and everyone in the department is very excited about the promise of expanding through the Affordable Care Act Medicaid so that we can reach many, many more people with HIV and offer life-saving care and services to them. And finally, Dr. Valdeseri, you recently published a commentary in the journal Public Health Reports on the U.S. goal of creating an AIDS-free generation. Tell us what we need to do to achieve that goal. Well, the, the focus of that commentary really talked about how we have to pay attention to implementation. And by that I mean we, all of us have heard the expression of achieving an AIDS-free generation. And we know that's possible, but that's only going to be possible if we attend to the very important implementation details. For instance, we have to pay particular attention to what are the social and structural determinants that are influencing individuals to seek out health care and to stay in health care. Uh, that's a very important dimension of it. We need to continue to work with communities of people living with HIV to understand their needs and preferences. And we have to mobilize and work across sectors. HIV AIDS cannot be an issue that's only important to us physicians or to public health workers. It really has to be something that everyone in America embraces and comes together and works toward achieving an AIDS-free generation. Great. Well, thank you so much for your leadership, Ron, and it's so great to work with you and talk with you today. For more information on the National HIV AIDS Strategy and for HIV and AIDS, visit AIDS.gov.